Listen, if you are in business and you have employees or you need to hire employees or you can't find good employees or you find good employees but you can't keep them, this video is for you. I have been working with small business owners for 20 plus years, almost 30 now, and I have never seen a time where I have heard business owners talk so much about and be challenged with so much the workforce environment. I, on a regular basis now here, I can't find good help. I hire people and I can't keep them. Look, there was a local company that their employee retention rate about five years ago was about 90%. And the majority of the time people left, they left because they moved, they decided to stay home with their children, and they kept their employees for a very, very long time. Now let me fast forward to today. This company, on average, is losing about eight of every 10 new hires. Now I don't, I'm not gonna go into how that affects a business financially with the cost of turnover, recruiting, training, hiring. What I want to talk to you about is the why, the why if you're having this challenge and the why that they're having that challenge. There are two major factors that are affecting our workforce and our ability to find and keep good people in this environment. Number one, five years ago, people got up and went to work and came home. It was on rare occasion that we had jobs where people could work from home, right? Those were the coveted jobs that you could work from home. Five years ago, it was rare. Fast forward to 2019, 2020. During COVID, during the pandemic, companies were forced big corporate America had to make some tough choices. And a lot of people who once got up and went to the office and came home or went to work at their retail job and came home, suddenly found themselves working from home. So that did two things. Number one, it took the benefit of the job being a work from home job off the market. It was no longer a benefit to work from home. It was expected that we could work from home. And over the last couple of years, companies have decided to bring their workforce back together, right? They're bringing them back into co-op spaces. They're bringing them back to their original locations, their original offices. And what was once a perk, then that became expected now has been taken away as an opportunity. Now, our workforce expects the flexibility in their job. They expect to be able to work to do part of, if not all of, their job from home. Not only that, during the pandemic, our work hours changed in our workforce. It was no longer the nine to five or 10 to six job. We did the work around our lives and around our schedules. The work still got done, but we determined when through the day that work got done. Now couple that with the new generations entering our workforce. They are not driven by building a career where they go to work, work all day, come home, and then they're able to live their life. They are driven by flexibility. Time is more important to them than money. This particular company that I mentioned said, maybe we can get better results if we pay more. They actually incorporated a bonus that if their employees just met their expectations, they would get a $6,000 bonus. That's a $6,000 raise just for meeting the job expectations. Do you know what impact that had on the company? Zero they still lost eight out of 10 every, every 10 employees. This is what I need you to know today. If you're a company that has employees, needs employees, or can't keep employees, this is why. 
we need to make some changes to how we do business now if we want this generation and this workforce to come to work for us and thrive. How do you do that? Well, I can give you a couple high level suggestions and then I would encourage you to give us a call. I have a person focused specialist on my team. He's traveled the world, done leadership training. He's a specialist on this hybrid work environment and these, this conglomeration of generations. I invite you to just sit down and talk to us. If you can't muster up the time to do that, here's a couple things that you can do high level. Number one, you have got to get to know this workforce. You have got to change the way we operate. We just do. We are so focused on driving revenue for our business. We have lost touch with what's important to the people who drive the revenue in our business. And what do I mean by you need to get to know this workforce? You need to find out and you need to do some research and you need to talk to the people that are out there about what's valuable to them. Because what's valuable to them isn't what was valuable to us five, 10, 15 years ago. We used to value building careers and climbing the corporate ladder and making a career out of our jobs. That's not the case now. This generation will work three different jobs all part time because they love it. They can live their life and do their work around their life because that's what they value. We need to understand what they value. And I would encourage you to build a culture, a work environment that supports what this workforce values. And look, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. I am saying that it is vital to the success of your company. And again, we'd be honored to talk with you, just to chat with you, to share some insight about what we're seeing in this workforce and what's differentiating the companies that are struggling to find and keep good people and the companies who are thriving in this environment are doing and what you can do to thrive in this environment with an amazing workforce team of your own.